On June 8th, 29 Fisher Elementary School students, along with their teachers and advisors from the National Forest Service and Trout Unlimited, traveled five miles along a dirt road up into the Green Mountain National Forest. They were about to release the baby trout that they had raised from eggs in their classroom into the Roaring Branch River. That's our Vermont State fish. So I'm Charlie Cummings. This is um, my first year teaching fourth grade. I've been teaching third grade for several years before. And uh, the other teacher and I decided that we were going to split math and science and, and let each person sort of specialize. So when I found that out, I wanted to start trying to find some um, programs other than just textbook learning that I could do with the kids. Uh, and so as I looked around a little bit, I found this Trout in the Classroom program. Um, I reached out to the, uh, to the website contact and Joe Mark from Castleton contacted me. We chatted a little bit about it and it sounded like a, a fantastic opportunity. One at a time, you girls slowly pour your water, pour your water over the screen on top of the wash basin. Good, perfect. Oh, I see one right there. We can lock them up with our hands. No, you can. Sometimes you do. Go to it. Your job is to find the macro invertebrates. Okay, I got one. I got one. Go, 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 go. I got one. Yes, you do. Okay. I got one. I have something. My favorite part of the release so far was totally the micro invertebrates because we got to get in the water and use the kick nets and then when we were discovering them, um, it was really fun. Is that um, a stone marker? Hey, there's something there. How many tails does a stone throw marker have? Um, two. Two. And how many that tails two, that so I think we do have this one. Okay. I think that uh, that's is what I was a... trying to get. I got there's that tiny one. I got that one and that tiny one. Oh. That I think one. that one is uh, that's two tails. <laughs> two tails. I don't think we have that one on our charts. Uh what about this one up here? Oh, 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 oh is that, that a bigger stonefly? That is a giant that. stonefly. Oh, oh where is it? Shiny. I'm gonna put that yes. in here. Oh, Joe, look. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is a, that is a leech. That's a baby leech. Joe works with Trout Unlimited, and they were very generous uh, and actually got us the $1,500 in the uh, equipment that we needed to start with. So it was a chiller and an industrial filter um, and chemicals and all kinds of stuff. So that was really fortunate. I'm not sure if we would have been able to pull it off the first year or not without that. So... We got all the equipment together, um, and what I've really liked about the program, and, and it was sort of an unexpected bonus, was the, the science that goes into it, it is very, very connected to Arlington, um, which is what these, what these kids know. You know, they're, they're fourth grade, they haven't necessarily traveled the world, but they know about the Baton Kill, they know about the Roaring Branch, so they are able to connect the chemistry experience uh, experiments that we do, um, the trout monitoring, the predators, and and the food chain, they're able to connect that with stuff that they see every single day. We just tested, I just got water from the river and we're going uh, to now wait five minutes for this to fully get ready so we can see what the river is like, see how the trout go on it. Because if it's too high, then the trout won't really like it and they'll die. If it's too light, they'll die and won't like it. But it has to be just right for them to like it. That's awesome. What are you testing for? Nitrite. I had a lot of fun doing the chemistry test to make sure how acidic the water is. And then the most interesting part, I think, was their, the tr where, how the trout need to live, like their habitat. Hi, my name is Kyla, and my, my favorite thing about doing the project was doing the test with the water. We test the ammonia, nitrate, nitrate or nitrite and pH. I found it to be really engaging. The kids can see a direct connection between what they're learning 
and how it relates to their backyard or the place that their parents go camping or something that they see every day in life. So the connections that they've been able to make uh, between raising these trout in the classroom and seeing them go from, you know, eighth inch long, diameter eggs to three inch um, fry have been really, really interesting and really fascinating for me as a teacher to see them be able to connect with. Oh, beautiful. So these brook trout were eggs in January. Now look how big they are. So in six months, They're basically six months, look at the size of these brook trout. They're two inches. With the Trout in the Classroom program, we're able to get eggs from the hatchery, the state hatchery, bring them to the classroom and set up an aquarium and raise these trout from eggs to this stage of fry so that the kids can see that first part of their life cycle and also firsthand experience where these trout live and what type of habitat is the best habitat for them. My name is Elizabeth and my favorite part was releasing the trout, seeing them go into their new habitat. Why do we want the baby brook trout to be on the side of the stream and be hiding? Predators. Out here there's probably some six, seven inch brook trout that would swim over if they saw them and maybe try to eat them for a lunch snack. So here, they're hidden under here and they'll be able to grow larger and be able to feed on all the bugs that are coming through. This type of activity definitely connects our students from grade one all the way up through high school, connects our students directly with the environment, with the important components of habitat and water quality and quality of the forest and how it all ties in. It's a, it's a complete cycle and we need to really keep the kids connected with the environment. And I thought the interesting thing about this trip was the velocity because it was really fun and um, we got to go in the water. Hi, I'm Silas and my most in the most interesting part of this was releasing them because we got to watch them go into their habitat. Hi, my name is Aiden and my favorite part was seeing the trout get released to their new home in the wild. So the kids uh, reacted, have reacted really well to it. They were really interested at first and the program actually starts out a little bit slow because we just have 200 eggs and they sit in these nets in the tank and they don't really do anything and the water chemistry doesn't change. So for the first few weeks, they were interested, but in a very sort of passive way. But once the eggs started to hatch, and every day we were counting how many had hatched, we started seeing them, we started taking them out and looking at them under a microscope or a, a hand lens, then the engagement just went through the roof. And so the first thing the kids would do when they come in in the morning is to look at the tank and count how many have hatched, to see if any had died, to see if the big ones have gotten bigger, to see how active they are. Um, and now on, on release day, I mean, these kids are just completely engrossed in, you know, pH and nitrate and macroinvertebrate surveys and things like that. So the engagement is, is through the roof and I'm, I'm so excited to do the program again next year. The interesting thing was how they're going to get all the pretty colors when they get older. The interesting part about the fish to me was that they have like a big ecosystem and they really are like smart fish in this state um, mascot of the fish. Tell me a little bit about that. Why is it more fun? Well, because we get to do more hands-on stuff than just reading or looking up at the smart board. And I think hands-on stuff is way more fun and teaches me a lot more than just reading a book. I really liked probably just watching them in their habitat and that sort of stuff because it's just fun doing that because of how interesting like their life is. <laughs>